Good afternoon everybody and um, welcome along to Pete's Plastic Playground or should I say Tracy Island this afternoon because it's a special F Thunderbirds edition and I'm doing my best to do a, an, an impression of one of those fantastic puppets but uh, quite difficult when I'm sitting down. Um, yes, Thunderbirds are go. Backman Europe have um, reissued or reboxed, reissued the um, the old Aoshima plastic Thunderbirds kits and um, delighted absolutely delighted they are in stock available now and uh, I've um, got my uh, examples from the Berkshire Dolls House and Model Company uh, in uh, in Berkshire you can find them on the internet I think it's berkshiredollshouse.co.uk and um, they're all in stock they're available to available for mail order so i thought i'd take the opportunity this afternoon to uh, show you a couple of examples of the ones uh, the ones that i have here um let's not tease you anymore first up is thunderbird 2 my favorite amazing craft i mean absolutely fantastic it's um there's there's nothing about it that uh, that 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 couldn't be used in real life it's absolutely awe-inspiring piece of kit from the moment it launches um you know and the, the actually the run-up to the launch is spectacular isn't it with the uh with it emerging from the side of the mountain the trees fall over and uh up onto the launch ramp the jet blast deflector guard pops up and uh, and all that thrust lifts that massive machine from from a standing start <laughs> <laughs> off up into wherever it needs to be at um however however you know i believe it's capable of about mac 3 or something but um there we are uh versatile because the the center of the fuselage is the pods and there are a number of pods available which um which contain any number of piece different pieces of kit this one comes with thunderbird 4 the the submarine which uh, again uh piloted by uh, Alan um, Virgil of course flies uh, Thunderbird 2 so here we here we have it the uh, the newly released um, Backman Europe stroke Aoshima Thunderbird 2 kit I love the way the box is made to look like an old retro TV as well isn't it sorry it's shining shining on the background um, yeah I love the way it's designed to look like an old TV as well it's very much like the TV that I used to watch Thunderbirds on when I was a when I was a, a boy because I was I'd have been about five or six when Thunderbirds came out and um, used to sit there with my dad at the weekend probably I think it was Saturday afternoon or lunchtime ish when it was first on um, and then it went to Sunday afternoons um, I seem to remember Saturday was Thunderbirds and then Captain Scarlet, but Stingray, when Stingray came out, that was always on Sunday tea time for some reason, after the Golden Shot, or before the Golden Shot maybe, I don't know. It's going back a long time now. <laughs> so, yeah, so Thunderbird 2. Um, the good thing about these kits, for serious modellers, it's not a challenge. For novices, it's it's easy to to build first of all it comes in um a series of uh different uh sprues of colored plastic so there is really no need to paint the model i'll, I'll show you these in detail later on i'll go for the instructions first so you don't have to paint the model so you don't have to have that sort of sense of foreboding that you've got to be a a an experienced modeler to do these um, the instructions, there we are, um, all fairly simply laid out. One, yeah, so it's just one leaf that folds out into three main, three main sheets. And it is, um, it is simplicity itself to put together. It's um, top and bottom halves of the main fuselage. Um, the cockpit sticks on, um, on top of, uh, in, in, in one piece actually. And there is a, a transparency for the, for the cockpit glazing as well um, generally no need to paint there are there are plenty of decals to bring some uh, oh compressors come on excuse me um, there are pr plenty of um, of decals to, uh, to to bring some more color to it and I'll show you those in a moment detailed instructions on how to build Thunderbird 4 which is quite small 
um, and it comes with a with a launch ramp there can you see that for inside the pod so you can actually you know put the thing in the bath if you want to and launch <laughs> launch Thunderbird 4 from the pod um, there's a diagram for the pod assembly and of course you don't glue the legs or the pod to the main fuselage so it gives you versatility in how you want to display the finished model so Thunderbird 2's instructions are all nice and clear now the size of the model um, I'm not going to open any of the bags um, at the moment for a specific reason um, have I still got my little tape measure in here yes I have so if I just put the main fuselage section on the desk and measure it overall now it says it's 1 350 scale but given that it's 1 350 of a fictitious model we can only assume it's 1 350 of the model that they used for for filming um, so overall the finished model is going to be about nine inches long but 230 mil long so that's the I'll show you this bag first this is the bag with ooh, top and bottom sections of the of the fuselage there okay so that's one one sprue this bag has got the complete front end the, the the nose section the cockpit call it what you will so that's one one piece there so as I say it's not complicated to build in any way you know we're not talking about a, a sort of uh, sophisticated airfix model here by any means um, a sprue of dark green parts which include um, the uh, the, 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 the pod, the shell of the pod, the floor of the pod, um, the engine nacelles from Thunderbird 2, um, the legs for Thunderbird 2, so when, when it rises up off the ground to, to lift the, um, the pod out for, so that the pod is on the ground and then it rises above the pod to, um, so that it can open up. So it's just a, you know, a sprue of fairly rudimentary pieces there that would be easy to run um, to put together um, there's the main body of the pod there um, again one nice big chunky piece of plastic that really doesn't need to be painted so um, I think when I do when I do mine all I'll do is just some weathering on the engines and so on and then inside there I don't know if you can see those there are some transparencies for the cockpit window and so on so don't get any glue on those kids you know what will happen it will spoil the model um thunderbird 4 <laughs> is tiny this reminds me of the little thunderbird 4 that came with the um in the cereal packet years and years and years ago when i was a kid so there's there's the parts for thunderbird 4 there now the decal sheet um this is what's going to bring it to life look at that a really really good comprehensive set of decals there so they will they will really give the model some some uh, some presence I think some ooh, where are we there so the yellow stripes are actually in decals so you haven't got to do any accurate painting of the um, say for instance that some um, yellow band between the um, cockpit area and the pod you haven't got to paint that that comes as a decal and likewise the yellow stripes on the um, the the ray section there the the, 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 um, the tail section there you don't have to paint those the black band you won't have to paint the yellow band around the end of the engine the cells you won't have to paint either so all done with decals take your time with it and it'll be fine and you know even the the name Thunderbird 2 is in a decal so there's there's no accurate painting to do whatsoever it'll be, it'll be a nice easy job but you can look actually I've just noticed that the two red decals are actually the um, the engine the cell covers and they incorporate the black and yellow stripes around the engine so it will be dead easy to decorate it no um, sort of like difficult painting at all so you can make a decent fist of it <laughs> And you get a nice Adventures in Plastic sticker that uh, I can't imagine that I'll put that anywhere. So Backman would like us to put this in a prominent place to, to um, 
you know kind of advertise their products but that will probably stay in the box so there it is that's thunderbird 2 um really nice easy straightforward kit and it'll make a great display when it's finished i'll put that back in the box now before i show you the other example that i've got and do another uh, another unboxing i'll just go through the range of kits that are available and i've got them all up here in front of me on uh, on the uh, the Berkshire Dolls House website. So first of all, there's fun. There's a Thunderbird 2 launch bay. So you actually get a little kind of mini diorama, if you like, of the the runner of loads and loads of different pods, and Thunderbird 2 in a raised position, so you can select which pod it's going to um, pick up for for that particular mission. So there's the Thunderbird 2 launch bay. Thunderbird 2, as I've just shown you. Um, there's a Thunderbird 1 launch bay, um, so I'm trying to remember that the swimming pool slides to one side, so it's the bit underneath the swimming pool um, for Thunderbird 1's launch bay. Fab 1, the pink Rolls Royce, now that would be a nice one to do wouldn't it, that's, um, so that's there in the series. Um, the Mole, never quite got to grips with how the mole worked actually in my mind when I was a kid and, and, and as a grown up I still don't really quite understand it but it's uh, <clears throat> effectively a drill on a tracked vehicle that um, was telescopic and extended for about a mile and could rescue anybody from in a tunnel or, or under a, a burning building as was the case once in the, uh, the Thompson Towers um, so there's the mole uh, I'm not going to tell you about the next one that I've got because <laughs> that's next on the list. Thunderbird 5, the space station where poor John lived all on his own and uh, must have gone round the twist <laughs> on his own up there in space for days and days and months and years on end with his reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape going, recording all the radio conversations in the world, listening out for emergency messages. Um, there's a Thunderbird 4 in a larger scale, so you can make a bigger scale model of Thunderbird 4. Um, Thunderbird 1, um, which is the, the rocket that Scott Tracy flies, um, that's there. Um, and I think that then brings me to the one, the, the only other one in the series, is this next one that I've got to show you. I think it was Episode 1, where Fire Flash, the airliner, featured. A fire flash just fueled my little boy's imagination. Uh, it, it really did. I, I loved this episode. I remember being absolutely scared stiff when it came on because I couldn't see how on earth they were going to retrieve this situation. But just to refresh your memories, fire flash was a an airliner, and the hood had planted a bomb in the uh, the landing gear, and if the landing gear was lowered, the bomb would have gone off. So the mission was for Thunderbird 2 to fly to Heathrow Airport and um, Virgil deployed I can't remember if it's three or four um, trucks with a flat platform roof designed specifically for this purpose and the idea was that these trucks um, drove along the runway in a in a triangle formation so that fire flash could land on top of them without having to lower the undercarriage and I mean just the imagination that came up with that was fantastic. The airliner itself, um, kind of half rocket, half airliner, <laughs> reminds me of a VC-10 in many ways and um, it's a superb sleek looking aeroplane. If I remember rightly the cockpit was in the vertical stabiliser and there were two massive great engines um, on a on a T-tail section which powered the thing. And then there was a, a, a very, very um, sort of tight swept wing at the back and a, and a canard wing at the front to, uh, to, to, um, to sort of like uh, stabilise the aircraft. <laughs> Would it fly in real life? Don't think so. But um, <laughs> a absolutely stunning piece of kit. Really, really lovely airplane. So opening the box, um, again, it is... Um, it says it's one 350 scale um, of a fictitious aircraft, so I can only imagine that it's um, that it's one 350 of the of the model that they that they use for the filming. 
and here it is now there's one bag with uh, what are there two three main sprues and a clear um, sprue of plastic to form the, the fus fuselage of the air the aircraft and the wings and so on uh, I'm sorry I'm not going to open the bags today um, for a very specific reason which um, will become apparent at the end of uh, April when I do open the bags but um, anyway so uh, here it is fire flash you can build it with a gear down or you can build it with a gear up um, and in addition to the actual fire flash model there are two packets of two sprues so you can build four of the uh, Thunderbird rescue platforms that, that fire flash actually landed on so um, so you can build four of those now these these um, items as well as fire flash do come in plain plastic and I think they are going to need painting you certainly want to paint the wheels in uh, in, in sort of black uh, the tires in black so these are going to re require some painting to make a decent fist of the model but um, they're, they're teeny weeny um, the to give you an idea the size of the platform for it, um, that the plane lands on is just three centimeters so they are tiny tiny little uh, models but there are there are four of those anyway so if you um, if you remember the episode um, what happened was there were three of them that were actually used in the rescue so Virgil was flight was driving the one upon which the nose of the aircraft touched down and uh, the other two were remote control and Virgil was controlling the uh, the other two by by radio control um, nice addition in here there's a, a section of runway Heathrow Airport's um, <laughs> It must have been about 16 miles long for this exercise. <laughs> Probably, uh, I expect the aircraft came to a halt somewhere in the middle of Windsor. But um, it, it seemed to take an awful long time to land. Um, section of runway and instruction book. Very similar to that of, um, of, of Thunderbird 2 that I showed you earlier. Very clearly set out and, uh, and very clear to, uh, to display the... Um, very clear instructions on how to assemble the model again very very simple big chunky pieces to put together um, you know this, <laughs> I'm just building an airfix Whitley at the moment and it is it goes together beautifully but there are an awful lot of parts to it but this is um, this is dead simple this um, this really uh, this really is quite easy is it it's all, yeah, not many parts to it at all I think in all I don't know maybe I don't know, 50 parts for fire flash if that so um, and again although it will require painting in its uh, in its color scheme uh, the decal set is really nice um, there are if you want to use the the coach lines that are molded that, that, are, that are provide here you can or you can mask off and do them yourself but the um, the nice text decals look look very nicely set so they're sliding down the packet, which is why I'm moving it up as I speak. <laughs> so there it is. That's um, Thunderbird 2 and Fire Flash from the new uh, range from Backman Europe of the old Aoshima Thunderbirds models. I'm actually delighted to be able to show you these. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, you'll go out and buy them and enjoy building them if Thunderbirds is your thing. Um, Thunderbirds has had a bit of a kind of renaissance over the years, hasn't it? There's been a, um, there's been a couple of, I think there have been two, one or two uh, live action Thunderbird movies. There was one in uh, the early 2000s, um, which was part CGI and part real actors. And then there was, um, there's the, the CGI children's series Thunderbirds Are Go which um, I used to get up on Sunday, Saturday morning early and watch. It was, it was pretty good. Very much more high tech than, uh, than the original, but uh, and I think it, it, it kicked, in a, kicked in a younger audience for a while. So, um, so it was a worthwhile exercise. So that's it. FAB everybody. <laughs> and uh, hope you enjoyed this little special edition of Pete's Plastic Playground. Thunderbirds are go. All the best.